Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning. So before I am going to start my lecture, I would like to introduce first myself. My name is Maria Karina Gasang, and I am one of the JLDM library staff assigned in graduate library section. OK, so without any further ado, my topic is about collection development plan. So since we just have a limited time to discuss, uh, we cannot uh, dig deeper. We cannot uh, discuss further the different terms. So the most important thing is uh, we will have an idea on how to in to craft or to create a collection development plan and what to include in our collection development plan. OK, so I hope uh, you will learn something today, even if in just a short uh, or a short uh, period of time discussing this one. We studied this one for one sim, right? But this time we are going to discuss in just a few minutes. So bear with me. <laughs> OK, so let's start. First of all, of course, we are going to define what is collection development, right? So the term came into wide use in the 1960s to replace the term selection. OK, take note of that. So collection de development refers to a more encompassing term reflecting the thoughtful process of developing a library collection in response to institutional priorities and community or user needs and interest. So always uh, remember that our priority here is the needs of our community. OK, so collection development also is part of collection management that primarily deals with decisions about the acquisitions of material. So when we hear this term collection development, so obviously we are acquiring materials that answers the needs of our community. OK, so. What does library do or what libraries do? Can you guess? Of course, libraries collect. So ano ba yung mga collect natin? So we collect library materials uh, according to the subject area. And then we organize after acquiring those materials. And then of course, we serve our community, right? So what else uh, we what else we are going to include when we are going to create or when we are going to make collection development plan for our libraries of course we need to include the library's mission statement and collection development goals of course we should have a mission statement first right uh, why what is our purpose or our objectives why we need to have this we call collection development plan, all right? So you should include the mission statement, the goals and your objectives, okay? So what is your objectives? Why you think you are going to develop your collection, okay? And then, of course, we need also to include in our plan uh, the past and present about our library so that, uh, users or even you librarians you can uh, compare kung ano na yung development ng library from the past up to present right so makikita mo na doon kung ano na yung progress ano na yung uh, nagawa mo para ma-enrich yung collection ng inyong library okay so yung uh, brief overview ng collection, yung budget allocation, and of course, the annual timeline for collection development planning. So we should have the timeline, okay? Para meron tayong goal. Uh, like for example, uh, within a year, itong uh, collection na ito ay madagdagan na or mawid out na kasi kailangan ng palitan para ma-develop natin ang ating collection. Alright, so what else? We need to include also the assessment. So, ano-ano ba yung mga ina-assess natin? We assess our community and of course, we assess our collection. And who are the res 
who are responsible for uh, selecting materials. Of course, if we have collection development committee, and of course, yung uh, librarians committee, no, which includes teachers and students, deans, department chairs, and of course, as librarians. And when selecting uh, library materials, we don't just uh, have to select na gusto lang natin. Lagi nating iisipin na yung needs ng ating community, yung ating uh, makikater. So, kaya da, meron tayong selection guidelines or selection criteria na tinatawag. So, napaka wide itong topic na to i-discuss but since we have limited time, so maybe we can have part two of this para mas ma-discuss ko sa inyo ng isa-isa, right? So, kailangan natin i-follow itong selection criteria or guidelines. So, meron tayong uh, general selection criteria and we have also a uh, selection criteria for electronic resources. Okay, so take note of that. And of course, we need to include also in our plan the acquisition. So, we know that acquisition is the process of securing materials for the library collection, whether by purchase, gifts, or through exchange program, right? So, we acquire materials by uh, purchasing, and some are from gifts, donations, or through exchange programs. And acquisitions primarily concerned with the ordering, claiming, and receipt of materials for the library collection. And the person in charge in this uh, kind of uh, thing in the library is the acquisitions librarian. Okay, so we have several methods of ordering. We have this called firm order, approval plan. Uh, what else? Blanket order, subscription, standing order. So when we say firm order, it is used when the library knows what it needs. Materials cannot normally be returned unless damaged or defective. And we, in this uh, type of order also, or method of order also, there is limits how much or how long. Okay, so take note of that. And what else? Approval plan. So when we say uh, uh, methods of ordering approval plan, it is a formal arrangement in which a publisher or wholesaler agrees to select and supply materials subject to return privileges specified in advanced publications exactly as issued, which fit a library's pre-established collection development profile okay so approval plan usually specifies subject areas levels of specialization or reading difficulty series formats price range language and many more okay so what else blanket order so when we say blanket order it is an agreement in which a publisher or dealer supplies to a library one copy of each title as issued on the basis of approval established in advance by the purchaser so it is non-returnable okay so take note of that so what else subscription so it is an agreement between the library and the publisher or vendor to supply a serial title like an annual or quarterly to be renewed and prepaid annually or an or on other intervals until cancelled what else standing order so it is an order sent by the supplier to the library as the materials are published unless otherwise notified so unlike subscriptions standing order must be paid in advance are billed as each volume is shipped an order sent to the library by the supplier for library materials to purchase or for purchase as it is published unless otherwise notified this is typical for materials published in series. Okay, so that's all ab uh, about methods of ordering. So take note of that different methods of ordering. And if we have methods of ordering, we have also what we call methods of acquisition. So we have this called buy, beg, barter, or borrow. So when we see buy, of course, we purchase. When we see beg, sometimes uh, nang hinihingi natin, no? Na ibigay na lang sa atin, barter naman. It's like uh, exchange. 
Okay, so big or gifts, doon nagpo-fall yung gifts. So big and barter is about gifts that these are materials given to the library from various local and foreign sources, individuals, institutions, foundations, friends of the library, alumni, and many more. So selection acceptance criteria for gifts should be the same with those for purchased materials. Unwanted items must as well be disposed, okay? So the library may also compromise with other libraries or organizations to exchange unwanted or duplicate materials in the collection. This may also deal with exchange of own publications or materials between libraries or institutions, okay? So take note of that. What else? Yeah, when in, in receiving gifts, we have also... Uh, to evaluate, no, we have gift evaluation criteria. We should include in our plan uh, gift evaluation criteria like gifts of print and or audiovisual materials, gifts of periodical subscription. So we should have an evaluation criteria. Okay. So what else? Of course, we should also include in our plan the collection format. So what are those formats that are available in the library of course we have those books cds dvds ebooks periodicals and many more so what else we need to include the subject areas also we need to consider the subject areas also in creating a collection development plan like philosophy religion sciences uh, medicine and many more okay so and one of the important thing that we need to include in our collection development plan is the copyright. Why? Because copyright law governs the making of photocopies or other reproductions of copyrighted material. So the person using this equipment is liable for any infringement. So if there's infringement uh, happened, so that person is liable in doing it. Okay, so what else? So, of course, we need also to include in our plan the collection maintenance. So, how we maintain our collection, of course, we, we weed out or deselect. So, we remove or replace or we add more of our collection, right? If there is a new edition of that uh, specific uh, material, then we acquire that uh, material, okay? So what else? Of course, we need to include also in our plan the replacements. If there's um, missing or lost books and there is no other copy, we need to replace that one, especially if it is needed by our community. And of course, we need also to include the preservation of materials. Okay, so we need to preserve materials, especially those materials that are very rare, uh, local histories, yung mga ganun, no? So we need to preserve that one also. And of course, this one, we need to include in our plan uh, about the intellectual freedom. Why? Because the purpose of this is uh, the collection development plan is to provide the community and library staff with a document that provides justification for the development of library collections. So that that is how important intellectual freedom is okay and also uh, according to american library station bill of rights affirms that all libraries are forums for information and ideas and that the following basis policies should guide their services what are those basic policies that guides our services so there in the screen, those are the following. Books and other library resources should be provided for the interest, so take note, for the interest, information, and enlightenment of all people of the community that the library serves. Okay, so material should not be excluded because of the origin, background, or views of those contributing to their creation. Another one, library should provide materials and information presenting all points of view on current and historical issues. Materials should not be prescribed or removed because of partisan or doctrinal disapproval. Libraries should challenge censorship in the fulfillment of their responsibility to provide information and enlightenment. What else? 
Libraries should cooperate with all persons and groups concerned with resisting abridgment of the free expression and free access to ideas. A person's right to use a library should not be denied or abridged because of origin, age, background of use. Libraries which make exhibit spaces and meeting rooms available to the public they serve should make such facilities available on an equitable basis regardless of the beliefs or affiliations of individuals or groups requesting their use. So there is no discrimination in here, my dear fellow librarians. We need to be fair in our community because they are our customers, so we should treat them or we should treat them fairly. OK, so well, that's the end of my presentation. I hope in just a short period of time you learned something and you can apply it in your library. If you still don't have an existing collection development plan, then you have an idea already. And you know, it is a very uh, wide topic and we need to have a uh, part two of this lecture so that we can discuss further so marami pa tayong i-discuss yung mga collection development policy uh, mga collection development mission statement so we need to discuss that one but for this time uh which i just want to share to you the a brief uh introduction of the topic so Again, I hope you learned something. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us as uh, we celebrate this book week. So God bless you everyone and bye-bye. <laughs>